first universal yum. We're here today with our first universal yums. Mmm. Mm. Yum. Yum. It's from Italy. I've never had it. Italian snacks before. Mamma mia. We seem to have this sticker. That's neat. Her face is all chocolatey from eating the snacks. We have a booklet. And then we have a, a map, which you can't see. So here's our snacks. Have a quick peek under there at those snacks. They look delicious. They do. Let's begin. Do you want to pick first? Yeah, because I like to eat. All right. Alfredo's. So we're going to start with Alfredo's potato chips. Alfredo potato. Um, these are truffle flavored. Oh. I suppose. Let's give it a smell. Hmm. Smell interesting. It's uh, I want to say it's mushroomy. Maybe lightly vinegary. I can't describe it. No smells? <laughs> well, I don't know what it, I guess it smells like mushrooms. I guess. All right. Wow. Hmm. They have a good amount of salt. They do. And they're not too salty. They're not, they're just the right amount of salt. And they're very flavorful. They do taste like a flavorful mushroom to me. I guess the best way to describe them would be mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. But we're probably influenced by the fact that it says truffle. That it says truffle, so they were good. So here's our ketchups, amica chips. They are ketchup potato chips. They smell like ketchup. They smell like ketchup or like uh, lightly barbecued chips. And they taste like, like ketchup. Like ketchup. They do. They taste like if you put some ketchup on really lightly salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. No barbecue flavor. Just uh... Ketchup. Not something I'd run to the store to get. They're pretty good. But you like ketchup. They're not bad. I like ketchup. She likes ketchup. Alright, so we got... These amarettini crisp almond cookies. They look good. Interesting. Wow. They smell... What is that smell? I guess almonds. I have smelled that before, but... Well, it smells like almond paste to me. Almond paste? That smells like some sort of strong extract or... Uh, Maybe it's almond. Some sort of spice. It doesn't smell like almond to me. Smells like almond to me. Okay. Smells faintly of soap. Try another one? Yeah. They are interesting. They were, first of all, crispy. Shots every time you hear us say crispy or crunchy. <laughs> yeah. They were so crunchy. They were crunchy and I liked it. That was like crunching on gravel. They were lightly sweet, as you could hear, incredibly crunchy. Yeah, they were. I liked them. I wouldn't mind having those again. Let's try one more. You can smell. 
Can I just smell it? Yeah. Can I have it? So we've had a lot of trouble describing yeah. these things. Two words would be your most important. Yeah. Crunchy and almond extract. It tastes like uh, an almondy meringue. So those were pretty unique and interesting. Next, we're going to try the Tarolini Limone Pepe. I wonder if it's going to be lemon. Look at those. They look scrumptious. They do look scrumptious. I smell lemon. I do too. That's the smell of lemon. Looks like a lemon bagel. They kind of look like cues. That was not what I was expecting. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah? You're like, hmm, it's gonna be sweet. No, but it's interesting. That was good. That was like a dried up biscuit. Yeah. Only with the right amount of moisture for consumption. It does have a lemon flavor, but the pepper is like pop rocks on your tongue. Oh, lemon and pepe. So those were not sweet at all. <laughs> it was like a crispy lemon pepper bagel. Yeah, that was really good. That was good. Lemon pepper crunchy biscuit. Very flavorful, very good. Those are going to make me the saddest when they disappear. But next, you have selected Buandolz. Buandolz orange carrot and it looks like like a tasty cake type thing it does the ingredients say cakes with orange carrot filling 31 percent there it is all right here's our carrot cake or orange it sure smells like orange juice it does take a small bite It tastes like orange juice. It does. Don't taste the carrot. I'm not sure I taste carrot either. I'm assuming the cake contains the carrot flavoring and the thin layer of frosting in the middle is definitely the orange juice flavoring. Yeah, it looks good though. I like it that. was good. I like the light and airiness of it, which was not crispy or crunchy. It was very soft and light and airy. <laughs> like a cake. A good cake. That tastes like a cake that I would like to try full size. Oh yeah. I would too. With all that orange juice flavored frosting on top. <laughs> yeah. Next, Nicolato Novi. I'm sure I said that wrong. Probably. I don't know. It's a chop. It's a chocolate bar with Italian hazelnuts. Ooh. I wonder if it's going to be better than Nutella. That's a high bar. But did you know Nutella is Italian? I had no idea. All right, so we have... Definitely milk chocolate. A very soft chocolate that is melting and sliding around in my fingers, so... Yeah. You gotta take that again. I think the chocolate was good with the hazelnut. Tasty. 
I did get one hazelnut. You get one hazelnut per bite. Per bite. So that was really good, soft, melty, milky chocolate. It was. It wasn't overly sweet. No, not like a Hershey bar. I dare say the chocolate may have had hazelnut flavoring in it. It might have. There's not much you can say about chocolate. If she says she likes it, it means it's good chocolate. So that was good chocolate. <laughs> it wasn't icky sweet. Uh, it wasn't like bad Easter Bunny chocolate. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like dark bitter chocolate. It was good chocolate. It was a good chocolate. And next, we have these candies. It says tiramisu. I do like a tiramisu, good tiramisu cake. And it's a ball. There's lots more chocolate inside. I want another one. I think they tasty. It does make me think of a good tiramisu with a espresso. I was gonna say I detected a hint of coffee flavoring. Yep. I think the inner chocolate was good. I like the whole thing. I want more of it. I'm not sure the chocolate was as good as the Novi chocolate with the hazelnut. The single hazelnut. <laughs> I think I could eat one of those. I think I could eat two or three. I don't think I could eat two or three. <laughs> now we're gonna try these little cells soda. And I see the word limon again. Augusto de limon. And on the side, I got caramel ripen uh, filled candy. Hmm. So does that mean it's gonna be lemon candy with caramel inside? Boy, I can't open these. These are handy dandy scissors. You need some help? No, nah, I got it. So they look like throat drops. They do. Kind of does smell like a little bit lemon. Looking at it with light behind it, it is filled with something. So I have to take a little bit to get down to the inside. Seems like we'll be sucking on these for a while. It was interesting. It took a while to get through the whole thing. Are you through the whole thing yet? So, it was very lemony. Definitely not something I would run to the store for. When you mm. first pop it in, it uh, the lemon is subdued with some sweetness, but as you peel back the layers, the lemony sourness comes out to play. It does. I think that's what is in the center is, is more lemony sourness. The center is certainly not caramel. <laughs> no, I didn't get I didn't get any caramel. Let's look at this. Caramella ripen Ripienna. Ripienna filled candy. As you're sucking the there's two little holes on each end that I assume where they put the filling in and the it oozes out. It oozes out into your tongue and assaults it <laughs> with lemony goodness. It's not bad. I mean, I will say it was interesting and it wasn't horrible. Never a fan of lemons or sour stuff. I was thinking lemon cores. I really liked lemon cores as a kid though. I would get the chocolate again before I would try those, but they weren't bad. They weren't bad. We had Alfredo's truffle potato chips, ketchups, crisp almond cookies, taralini, orange carrot cake, chocolate novi bar, the tiramisu balls, the cell soda. So we're going to do the two chips, 
chip on chip action. What was your favorite chip? Truffle. Truffle chips? Yeah. We'll have to agree. <laughs> I liked your truffle chip. I had a great flavor. I would eat both the chips. I would buy both the chips. I would only buy the truffle chips. But I would buy the truffle chips with my mouth watering on the way home. Yes. Thinking about eating I them. guess I would buy the other chips, both chips, but the other chips for her. All right, so truffle chips win. Out of the crisp almond cookies, the orange carrot cake, and the tarellini Q things, what is your favorite? That is hard. Is it? I actually like the orange thing. You liked the carrot cake? I did. The carrot orange cake. I think that was great. They were all really good. The crisp almond cookies were pretty unique in texture and a little bit in taste. But my favorite is the Tarellinis. The Limon e Pepe. I think everything was good in their own way. Like, if I went to a store, I'd probably pick every one of them up. They were all good. I would buy all three again. Yes, I would buy them. <laughs> but I would love the Limon e Pepe's. I would like the orange again. I would like a full size. Yeah. Like a whole slice of that orange cake. Out of the Novi bar, the tiramisu balls and the lemon drop. What is your favorite? Tiramisu balls. I would get two of those three again. I would get the tiramisu balls. They were it's okay to have one, but I think I could eat the whole Novi bar. You could. I could. No, I could. If no one was looking and <laughs> there was no such thing as weight gain. I loved it. It was good. I also really liked the tiramisu ball. I'd like to have like two or three of those popping right in my mouth. So, Universal Yums. This was a fun box. This was a fun box. I liked it. It had some interesting flavors in it. Italy did a great job with their snacks, just like Brazil and South Africa. If you want, you can check out those videos on our channel. They should be somewhere. If you could, please like and subscribe, hit the notification button. Maybe give the bell a ring. Yeah. We hope you had fun hanging out with us while we try a new subscription box. It's fun to try out new snacks. It is. We can't wait to see what our next one is. So, see you again. Bye. Bye.